Hey YouTube, 123toy back again with another video and in this video I'm going to be teaching you something that I think a lot of people think they're doing correctly and believe it or not you might be one of the people that are actually doing this incorrectly. And what we're talking about is actually calculating the length of your port correctly. What a lot of people do is make a very common mistake and so I'm going to show you how to figure this out in a program like SketchUp, although this can apply, you can do this by yourself, you know, in your head or even on a drawing, really doesn't matter. But SketchUp is a free program, so if you don't have it, I would definitely get it. It's cool to be able to build boxes like this. You can actually design all your speakers in it, and it doesn't cost you anything. So it's really nice once you get used to it. Now what I did is I built a 12 by 12 inch box with half inch stock all the way around. So if you take a look, this would be like half inch stock, and then this would of course be the inside of the box. Let's go ahead and undo that push pull so that we can look at it for a second. So this right now is a complete square. Now the height of it can be whatever the size the height your box needs to be. So we're gonna make the assumption that you want a five inch high box. And we're going to make the assumption that you want a one inch long port that's 10 inches long. I'm sorry, one inch wide port. So a one by five by 10. Now, once again, that is making the assumption that you're going to be making a slot port. Now, this does work if you're not making a slot port, but it's easiest to show you by using a slot port. So if you're going to have a one inch long port, that's going to be a one inch by 10 and then of course the height would be whatever the height of the inside of the box is in this case we're going to say 5 so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like alright now you're going to see this secondary thing that I just put right here um, that's just assuming that we're using half inch stock for the side of the port okay so right now I'm just building the port of what most people would do. So the assumption is that if you want a 10 and a half inch long port, you're gonna measure some wood out that's 10 and, I'm sorry, a 10 inch long port, you're gonna measure some wood out that's 10 inches long. And now that you've measured that 10 inch long port out, you have exactly a 10 inch long port. Well, you don't, at least not in this case. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what is going on here. This is the port right here. So this is the exit of the port. This is the entrance of the port. And this right here is the speaker cavity of wherever the speaker would be. So to give you a visual representation of what we're doing right now, we'll pull this up by five inches. And you can see now it's a little bit easier to see. There's the actual port. And here is the box. So this right here is your port. So why is this not actually 10 inches long? And how do we know how long it is? Well, the reason why it's not actually 10 inches long is because you don't measure this. What you actually measure is from the center of the port. And it's very important to realize that you measure from the center of the port. Depending on how many bends your material has and depending on the length of it, it, it actually makes a big difference on what you might actually be getting as far as how long your port is. So right now we're under the assumption that it's 10 inches long. It's not, and let's kind of show you why. All right now what I'm doing is actually showing you where the port actually is. So I'm having a hard time getting the edge of this, so let's go ahead and just draw a quick little line and then erase it. All right, so this is how long your port actually is. Remember, you measure from the center of anywhere there is a port. Now why are we measuring this end and why are we measuring this end? That's the first question that a lot of people are going to ask. Well, the reason why is because this right here is exactly one inch, and this right here is exactly one inch. That means that if you are doing a one inch long port, these are going to be part of your actual port itself. So when you thought that you had a 10 inch long port because you put you know, 10 inches of material in here, you actually don't. Let's see what your actual length is. So if we measure the middle of the port, everywhere we have a port, we have one inch, then we have an additional 10 inches, and then we have an additional one inch. So it's actually a 12 inch long port. Now you can imagine the difference in tuning frequency between a 10 inch long port and a 12 inch long port. Especially for slot tuning, it could be a really big difference. 
And if we were to actually bend this corner again, so maybe you wanted to do a 21 inch long port and you put more, you know, another uh, slot down here, you're going to be even further off than what you thought. And so it's really important to measure from the center. Now that includes whether you're doing a slot port like what we're doing right now, or even if you're doing a cylinder style port and it has some type of curves in it, or the other area in which I see this often done incorrectly is if you're either building a slot port or a cylinder port and you decide to use this half inch part of the material. So let, let's just say you want a five inch long port. What I see a lot of people doing is they take it to their table saw or their chop saw or whatever and they say all right I need a five inch long port so let's go ahead and make a five inch um, by half inch size material and now I have a five inch long port but what they forget to do is factor in this outside material as well which is another half inch long so you actually have five and a half inches so you, if you're going to make a five inch long port and you're going to use part of this X external material here you actually need to make this a half inch shorter so these are kind of some of the things that I see a lot that people are doing incorrectly and and it makes a lot of sense of why you're doing it that way it's just not correct so I'm hoping that this actually helps teach you a little bit this doesn't matter if you're making a slot port like I said or cylinder port or anything the the points are all the same now, I do want to just bring this up as well since we're in here. Let's just assume that we're doing the internal dimensions of this. So, uh, you know, you're going to have another half inch piece of stock on top and another half inch piece of stock on the bottom. But this is all the internal dimensions of your subwoofer or speaker or whatever. One of the great things about WinISD, I'm sorry, one of the great things about SketchUp is that you can actually measure your internal volume very easily. Now you can measure it, they actually have tools in here too, but I'm going to show you the way that I, I do it. Uh, you can just measure here 11, now you have 9.5, and, and we have 5 inches. So assuming these are all internal measurements, we can now open up our Google Chrome and we can go to what my favorite box calculator and we can input those dimensions so 11 by 9.5 by 5 the wood thickness is going to be zero because we're measuring internally now if you are measuring you know externally from like here to here and here to here then you'd want to put your half inch material in there and then of course that would be you know 10 and a half by 12 by uh, 6 and then you would come up with the exact same solution. But let's go ahead and just check and figure out what it is. And that is a 0 0.302 cubic foot enclosure. So that's nice too because when you get done and you put the port in, a lot of times people are asking what their box volume is. Now you still need to subtract whatever part of your subwoofer or speaker that's going to be in there as well. But this will give you a good idea of what your actual volume is. All right, guys. Now, I hope you learned something. I hope that this is something that you haven't been doing wrong. If you have been and you've been wondering why your port is off or why you're not getting the frequency that you thought you would, this is the reason why. And don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of people make this mistake. It's a very simple mistake to make, especially when you're getting into speaker building. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the description down below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to help out the channel, ring the bell so that you make sure that you get instant notifications of all the videos that come up. And don't forget to like the video and check out my Patreon page. All right, guys, have a great day.